The September update 4 Red Dead Online has some pretty good opportunities for players to make some of the purchases that they may have been waiting on for a while. Welcome back to the channel everyone, and today on the show we will be kicking off our buyer's guide for the September event and update here in game. This video will be your complete guide on how to navigate these purchases, my own personal recommendations, and basically if you have the money, where I think you should spend it. So with that said, we're going to get started. If you enjoyed this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. So as always with these buyer's guides, we have discounts that both change your character stats or basically add value to your gameplay, and then we just have other cosmetic discounts. But we always start with the stat changing purchases. So first, five gold bars off the butcher's table. Basically five gold bars off the trader roll, bringing it down to 10 gold bars total. This month with the double money trader deliveries, you're making $1,250 per long distance sell, which will take three hours and 20 minutes to produce enough goods for that amount of money. And then it takes about 10 to 20 minutes to sell. And this roll is an absolute must buy. You factor in some of those resupply missions or buying supplies and round numbers, you're making that $1,250 every four hours. This allows you to go off on the frontier and play other missions and content for that extra money and gold while your supplies produce and accumulate. Just watch out for those instance missions like legendary bounties, telegram missions, moonshiner story missions, blood money opportunities, call to arms, inland of opportunity online story missions, as all those types of missions will halt your trader and your moonshine businesses. If you're looking for guides on how to rank up the trader role and best tips and practices for it, definitely check out my channel as I have a ton of useful information on this role that I've talked about and discussed in the past. But basically, if you like hunting animals in Red Dead Online and you want to make a ton of money, purchase the trader roll. After that, we have 40% off all sniper rifles in Red Dead Online. This includes 40% off the rolling block rifle and 40% off the Carcano rifle. When it comes to weapons in Red Dead Online, ultimately you want to collect them all when you have the cash. But for players who are sitting here right now trying to decide between one or the other, let's go over both of these. In most cases, the Carcano rifle is going to perform better than the rolling block due to the much higher damage per second it offers. This means it fares much better against tank builds, tonic users, and for PvE free roam content as well. The rolling block, however, sits in a special niche in the game in that it offers a bit more damage, allowing it to maintain a one-shot kill status on non-tank and tonic users, and all it needs is sharpshooter instead of sharpshooter in peak condition like Carcano requires for one-shot kills on those same types of enemies. The damage difference between the two is minuscule though. The Carcano rifle deals 101.1 damage, and the rolling block deals 121 damage, but the rolling block also requires a reload after every shot fired, whereas the Carcano allows you to fire up to six rounds before needing to reload. So in most cases, the Carcano is going to be the victor in most gameplay situations. After that, we have 50% off the Varmint Rifle. The Varmint Rifle is used for small animals in this game. It deals between 23.4 damage and 18.1 damage at its longest ranges, so depending on the range, you're getting two different damage values. And overall, it just has poor combat applications unless you're getting headshots. The damage drop-off starts sooner than compared to other long arms, and the Varmint Rifle has a shorter lethal headshot range. It has a decent overall fire rate and can be used to tranquilize animals for the naturalist role with sedative ammo. After that, we have 40% off the bow. The normal bow deals 60.7 damage in the game and has no damage drop off, and it can be used to kill enemies stealthily if you need, and the player can also recover all of its arrows as regular ammo, with the exception of dynamite arrows. Those you're going to need to craft more of when you run out. Now, if you're wondering if you should buy this bow or just get the improved bow, just some info on the improved bow. On that side, it deals 38.3 damage and it has no damage drop off. And again, you can get stealth kills just like the normal bow, but the improved bow also features a slower stamina drain when holding an arrow and can you can mark targets at much further distances with painted black so when it really comes down to it the normal bow gives you a slightly higher damage the improved bow gives you better range with painted black but normal ads range and auto aim lock on range remain the same for both bows so ultimately that choice is up to you depending on if i guess you're fighting ai enemies or players or you're just hunting do you want more damage or a longer painted black range you can make that decision for yourself. After that, we have 40% off all trader wagons, and that includes the medium delivery wagon, the large delivery wagon, and the hunting wagon. These trader wagons are all worth the buy. Buying the medium and large delivery wagons are an absolute must. I would love to say just skip the medium and buy the large delivery wagon so you can start selling your trader goods for that $1,250 long distance. However, one of the prerequisites, unfortunately, for buying the large wagon is buying the medium wagon first, so you're gonna have to shell out cash for both. If you're just getting started with this roll, I advise you set aside some extra cash for these wagons before this month's offers and discounts expire. When you rank up the trader,
here and you want to start making real money with this role, it's without a question the large delivery wagon is why this role becomes such a great money making tool. The hunting wagon's also discounted, and this wagon could be worth a purchase, but it depends on your playstyle, in my opinion. If you hunt mostly in free roam, then this wagon is a must. However, I just advise you only call your wagon once you've killed the group of animals you're hunting. Usually, riding around on your hunting wagon makes most of the animals in the area disappear and despawn, so just be aware of that. I personally only use the hunting wagon to store legendary animal skins and pelts in bulk so that I can just draw from that wagon bank when needed and donate them to Crip so he can start making goods. The hunting wagon can hold five large pelt bundles and 50 small pelts, which makes it extremely beneficial for me. Every month or so, I'll just spend a couple hours doing legendary hunts and filling up that hunting wagon so I have pelts to draw from in the future. After that, we have 30% off all Turkmen horses. This is an oriental horse breed and the Turkmen is an ultra bold horse known for its slender body and its high endurance. The small hooves are suitable for traveling on hard and rocky terrain, and that, alongside their high speed, makes for a great horse for battle and gunfights. It's a hardy, healthy breed, unrivaled in this line, and this is my personal favorite horse breed in Red Dead Online. These horses are just my personal favorite overall, and they also remain confident around dangerous predators, and besides the Arabian horse, the Turkmen's are the only other horse breed in the game capable of running full speed through the snowy areas of the map, like for example, around the abandoned settlement of Coulter. They're also just beautiful horses in general. Each horse coat is unique and stunning, and some of your character's outfits will go along really, really well with the horse coat and saddle combinations that you come up with. After that, we have 35% off small game arrow pamphlets. I'd say overall, you can just forego buying this pamphlet. In my opinion, you don't need small game arrows to preserve pelt quality on small animals. A varmint rifle round to the head will do just fine, and these small game arrows only really work on squirrels and rats and stuff anyway. Not all small game in Red Dead Online, so it's sort of misleading there. And then for our final little bit, we have the non-stat changing purchases. 30% off all trader roll outfits, 50% off varmint rifle ammo, and 50% off normal arrows. So those are all the purchases, and with all that said, it looks like we're out of time. We're going to be wrapping things up right here. This was my complete buyer's guide for the September update event here in Red Dead Online. I'd love to know in the comments, what do you think of these purchases? Do you own most of these, or do you have a few extra things you would be buying during this monthly event in Red Dead Online? Let me know in the comments below. With that said, hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at Hazardous HDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With that being said, thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Adios, amigos.